Live from deep in an underground bunker in East Tennessee, this is America's premier mortgage fuel services expert, Paul Williams. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of Foreclosure Pedia Podcast. Foreclosure Pedia Podcast presentation of the Foreclosure Pedia Radio Network, which premieres Sunday evening. We're actually speaking to you today, Wednesday, the 7th of September, 2016. <clears throat> the time is 16.52 hours Eastern Daylight Time. We're broadcasting from our new 308A facility. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming to you special because today the National Association of Mortgage Field Services, the NAMPS regime, kicked off its annual fraud fest. <clears throat> That's right, down in Dallas, Texas, today, ladies and gentlemen, at 0700, the John Ward Memorial Golf Outing, just sponsored by the Aspen Grove Solutions, kicked off a three-day run of Fraud Fest. And make no mistake whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen, fraud it is. Sadly enough, the military... Warrior Support Foundation has decided to drag veterans through the mud by associating with associating with NAMPS as well. And I'm going to tell you what, it's been a whole heck of a fun, fraud-filled day down there in Dallas, Texas, down there at the Hilton. You know, the expo folks started coming in, and, and, and you know, before I even go there, Let's hold right now. Let, let's take a hard break, a word from our sponsors, and let's come back on the top and let's actually talk about what is going on both within NAMPS and with Eric Miller. We'll be right back. So we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Paul Williams, the editor-in-chief of foreclosurepedia.org. The date is the 7th of September, 2016, and we're talking about NAMPS. Fraud Fest 2016. And you know the stats are looking grim, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> right now, I'm looking at the cvent.com platform, which actually takes care of all of NAMP's uh, Fraud Fest activities because NAMP's is incapable of doing that themselves. But anyway, so we're here at cvent, and I'm looking. At 1657 hours, we have a hard break coming up at the top of the air at 1700. But I'm looking right now, the presidential reception entertainment. There's still $6,500 that wasn't supported. So I have a calculator here. I'm going to add that up 6,500 plus business breakfast. I guess nobody's eating. That's two of them at 10,000. We have uh, bar stations. <laughs> Look, the one thing you got to have at NAMPS Fraud Fest is you got to get drunk. Yep, not happening there. That's another 10000 Uh Oh, the Business Resource Center breakout session. I guess that wasn't too important to anybody. That was another 4000 that they didn't get. The raffle prize, yeah. Like anybody's going to win anything because you don't even get paid anyway. That's another 8000 Yeah, I'm not too good at math, but thank God and God bless Microsoft because I have a calculator that I'm actually typing into as I do this in real time. And at 16.59 hours Eastern Daylight Time, NAMPS Fraud Fest is underfunded, undersupported by $38,500. Dollars. Now, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not the sharpest tool on the shed, but I think I'm a little bit better at math than Eric Miller. $38,500 is a lot of money. Five years now, NAMPS has operated in legally what we would term a financially insolvent environment. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all continue to go down there. Uh, when we come back on the top of the hour, we're going to talk about the men who are actually in NAMPS and the study that Foreclosurepedia is commissioning. 
to find out whether or not there is a direct correlation between small penises and membership in NAMPS. We'll be right back with you after a word from our sponsors. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As usual, you may reach me on Google Plus at D. Paul Williams, LinkedIn, Paul Williams, and the LinkedIn Group Property Preservation Consortium, Twitter, Foreclosurepedia. We stream all our podcasts on iTunes, Foreclosurepedia. We have our screencasts over on YouTube, the Foreclosurepedia channel, and always at foreclosurepedia.org. We'd like to give a special shout out to Amazon.com, whom provides our S3 podcast and video storage, and Cloudfair for hosting Foreclosurepedia in 24 different geo position servers, pro bono as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to give me a shout out, COO at foreclosurepedia.org.